Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael, and today we're gonna to have a brief chat about my hunting outfit. So a few weeks ago, I went into Princess Auto on a unrelated trip, and I saw these hunting clothes for sale. The jacket was $35, the trousers are $25. So my complete ensemble is about $60 Canadian, which I thought was extremely good value. So the jacket is about 30% wool and the rest synthetic. And I've been wearing this now for the past four days exclusively. So I basically have underneath have my long underwear. I have a wool shirt and same again, long underwear underneath that. So what are my thoughts about my $60 hunting outfit? Well, I like it a lot. I think the, uh, the overall setup is great for these sorts of conditions. The temperatures ranged around, uh, I'd say down to about minus six at night and in the morning it's pretty cold and it's been rising up to about five or six Celsius in the afternoon. So not extremely cold. So, so far I've really enjoyed wearing the outfit. I think it's extremely comfortable. Like it's got good range of motion, uh, very comfortable. I have two side pockets, two rear pockets on the back. I have two pockets here for my hands and then there's inside pocket as well. And I find the storage is great. Keep my keys and things I don't want to lose in the zippered inside pocket. And the fit is great. The uh, Pants are the extra large and I'm about a 35, 36 waist and they fit perfectly. I have a 30 inch inseam and the length is perfect. The jacket is an XXL. I would have preferred an XL, but this is all they had. And I actually think the XXL is the right way to go. There's lots of movement inside. I can actually layer up inside this and have it as a, an outer. And I found that when riding the quad, I don't get wind coming through it. It's actually quite windproof. And the other real benefit of this type of fabric is completely silent. Now I know it does have a, a scent lock type technology in here as well and a wind barrier. Um, obviously if you're a bow hunter, your scent's very important. Actually generally for hunting, it's, it's a good idea to have that. But I don't find them too heavy. It's actually, uh, like I say, it's got really good range of motion and they're just super quiet. You know, it makes no sound. You can just move through the forest without any problems at all. Uh, I've been very, very happy with it. Uh, like I say, I've only been really wearing it for the last four days. And yeah, we'll see how it holds up for a longer period. But even if I get maybe one or two seasons out of it, I'll be very happy. Uh, the knees are somewhat reinforced. They have this extra stitching across it. I'm not sure about the, the pattern, the camo pattern, but I don't mind too much. I think it actually fits into the boreal forest very well. But I've been very happy with it. I do like the hood gives lots of protection. It's not a wired hood, so if you are in the wind, then that might be a bit of a, a thing. But I find that I can really cover up if I'm in a, a like quiet spot where I need to, to wait around, then uh, the hood's really nice. It gives me good view. Um, but again, it's perfectly silent. It is water resistant. So not waterproof, obviously. But to be honest, in the Canadian winters, it doesn't really rain. It's gonna snow, if anything. And all you really need to do is have a good insulated layer and you can brush it off if it does snow on you. Um, I would even go as far as to put maybe a canvas layer over the top just to protect it so it doesn't actually soak in any moisture or anything like that. Canvas is much better at being able to brush snow off before it melts. So yeah, overall, I really like it. And I think for $60, I actually very, very impressed. I'm glad I actually found it. I think I'm gonna try and get another pair of these trousers because the trousers with all kind of matching suits, the trousers always wear out for the jackets. Turn around, show you what it looks like from the back. Yep. And the inside is kind of this kind of micro fleece type of layer yeah i like it very much so if you're in the marketplace for 
nice cheap hunting outfit that's going to perform well in colder conditions, then, you know, have a look at your local Princess Alter. You might be able to pick one of these up for yourself. So if you like this type of content, you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.